This week's moral challenge question is about the question of syncretism. Syncretism is when you have the Christian faith blended with some other belief, whether that's about, say, Christian nationalism or whether it's about some other kind of folk cultural belief or, or some other kind of worldview. It is a real challenge. And here's part of the reason why it's a challenge. The Christian faith is not a faith that is to be lived in the abstract as if where we live in times and places and cultures does not matter. It is a faith to be lived in times and places and cultures. And so the challenge is for us to maintain the authenticity of our faith, but also being able to practice it in our particular places and to do it in our particular places without confusing the places themselves with the source of authority. And part of the reason why that's a challenge is that a lot of urgent questions arise out of the cultures in which we live. And certainly, if you live somewhere like the United States or any other country, one of the questions you have to ask yourself is, is how do I think about where I am? How do I care about where I am? And Christians should care about where they are. Perhaps a way of thinking about it is to think about the distinction between what we would call patriotism versus nationalism. Patriotism, you can think of as a proper love for your country, but also the kind of love for your country where you do not worship it, where actually you do understand that every nation, every country basically has a shelf life, has an expiration date. It is not something that drop from heaven and then it's going to go on forever and ever. It's really in a time and place, or for, and maybe for centuries, something that has been a social order, let's say, uh, and, and people have built that politically, culturally, etc. People know that eventually those things expire and they, they're not the thing that is going to go on. They are not the kingdom of God itself. So a patriot understands that and also understands that while they might appreciate it, they do not worship it. They want the best for it, but they don't confuse their country with being the chosen country. Nationalism does tend to think that where we are is God's special place, God's special designation as sort of a chosen nation. And of course, whether it's chosen nation, whether it's chosen culture, whether it's privileging certain beliefs within a culture that are cultural beliefs, those things, while they may be good, are not to be worshipped or to be confused with God's kingdom. And if you really like your country, if you really like your culture, then there is a kind of idolatrous temptation that can be present. And, for, and some people do succumb to this, and they confuse commitment to God with commitment to their nation or their culture. So what we need to do is think about how do we appreciate God, if, if we appreciate what God's given us, if we appreciate our country, if we appreciate our culture, but how do we think about serving him in it rather than thinking about how he just rubber stamps that culture or how we think that he is the one that has given us this culture distinct from all other cultures in the world. We have to be very, very careful about that. And, and let's be honest, it can be a hard thing, especially when things are good. But the fact that it's hard doesn't mean that we don't practice the moral discernment necessary. Always asking this question, who am I really worshiping? Who is really determining what I think is good, right, and true? Who is really my ultimate authority? Is my ultimate authority God or is my ultimate authority something else? We have to keep asking questions like this all the time, every day. And if we do, then maybe we can begin to sniff out where syncretism exists or where there is the temptation for it to weave into our faith. So let's try that.